Welcome. Welcome at Math 20-1 Learners. I see that you are looking for some information on how to get around in your course, and I'm going to take that as a great sign of your commitment, perhaps even excitement, to doing this course, doing it well, and getting those juicy Math 20-1 credits. My name is Mark Lambert. I'm one of the instructors here, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to find your schedule in the uh, course outline, how to access those really great lessons we've got waiting for you, and how to complete, uh, successfully complete the homework that is associated with each lesson. Right at the end, I'll also show you a little bit about the grade book. So first, your schedule. If you click on the tab, My Schedule, or My Schedule and Information, it may say, you're going to see, well, two things. First, once you have your orientation and you had your schedule built, your schedule will appear here. It'll also be sent to you by email. If you haven't met your instructor yet in a, in a short orientation meeting, it's not going to appear here, but it's coming. In the meantime, you can check out your course outline. If you click on that, you can see how you're going to be weighted, how you're going to be graded, pardon me, in this course. There are three sections. The course is split up into each with two or three units and with an exam at the end that is worth 25%. So that's right, you have three exams to write. And then all the assignments are going to combine for 25%. There's more information on here, including a note about student engagement. As an RTD Academy student, you are expected to continually engage with the course, regularly log in, and maintain contact with your instructor. So should you ever find yourself away from the course, not unable to log in for an extended period, say any longer than a week, you are asked to message your teacher and keep in touch with what's happening. I'm going to go back to here and again see that the course divided into those three sections with a review and an exam on the end. We'll discuss those exams in a different video. I'm going to go to Unit 1, Radicals, as good a place as any to start. Notice that there is a booklet and this is a notes package for the entire unit, for all of the lessons. Everything that is in this notes package is going to appear in the actual e-learning videos. This is optional if you want to print this and reference it or if you have a tablet and you want to mark it up or work in here, that's another option for you. However, you may want to make your own notes. So if you click in lesson one, you can see the way it looks. Now this is the way the course is laid out. Every lesson is a video. Uh, there's either going to be one or two videos per lesson. Lesson 1 has one video. Lesson 2 has two. And they're each about 20 to 30 minutes long. So I'm going to press play here. So square root of I was already playing with this. See at the beginning. Hello Math 20-1 and welcome to This is our principal uh, Kyle Brown lesson. who's this produced these. Cool lesson. One might even say He's going to walk you through all of this all of the notes in lesson one. And again, you can picture yourself sitting in front here, jotting some notes down, taking, taking down the definitions here, what's an index and a radical symbol, and then importantly later on, trying the questions. So over here, Kyle's gonna go over a couple of examples and then he's gonna give you some time to work on these ones, square root of 40 and 108, and you can try these, and then you press play, and you can see how this is all done. This is a great way to do online learning, and that is that you stop, you pause, you make some notes, you reflect, perhaps you meditate, and then you work on the question, and then you get some real-time feedback. Go back and look at it again if you need until you understand the course concepts. Your goal when you come out of any lesson is that you, tr you can do all of the examples, they all make sense for you, and then you're ready to do the homework. So I'm gonna leave the lesson. 25 minute video 26 and then you go to the homework questions for lesson one so I'm going to click on here I'm going to press resume you're going to press start I was already demoing this one so I'm going to reset it here and I'm just going to show you that you could do math type in our system like you can do fractions and square roots and you can do exponents, like I could do something like this. 
can see a pi and infinity. So there's different symbols sometimes for the different questions. But there's full math type equipped. You can do any equation, any kind of math symbology you can put in here, and it will uh, it will mark it for you. So if I submit this, and surprisingly, I did not get that right, but I can check what the answer is, and it's 28 root 10, and I could try another one that's very similar right underneath. Now, also note that this question has a video. So if I click on the video link, video is going to pop up and it's going to show me how to do a question that's really similar to the one I'm on, but not identical. And I will discuss why it's not identical in, in, in a moment. But for the meantime, it's not necessary to be identical. You just want to see how it's done. You can get back and try your own question. Lots of videos, lots of worked examples throughout our homework. If the video didn't help or there is no video, you can click on Message Instructor. And it's going to take the question that you're working with you. You just need to select my name. And you can ask for help. Or whoever your instructor is. I'm going to move on to another question. You can see there's videos written examples, the message instructor option is at the bottom of every single question. Maybe I will stop here at question five. Now for this one, it's going to take a little bit of work that I'm not prepared to do at the moment, but I'm going to have to write this uh, this number in simplified radical form and I'm going to enter it here. So let's just pretend the answer is uh, five root seven, which I can assure you it is not. If I submit that, I could see that I got it wrong. Okay, now I could refer to that written example. Maybe I get some feedback from my instructor. And you could actually try it again. Now watch this. So the volume is 2875, but I get a similar question. And now it's 1600 cubic centimeters. It's a new version. So what our system does is it randomizes the parameters for the questions. You get different version every time. You can sit and you can try a question. Most of the questions in our homework, in our assignments, you can do it over and over again and get all the practice you need until you get it right. So now I could just try it again and I could submit it and I'm going to stick with 5 square root 7 because I'm feeling it might be due and then I enter that and surprisingly it's still wrong. Now I do want to show how to get that answer and I got to change it. So I'm just going to change it to anything like um, 5 root 8. So I'll submit it now and now notice that answer key comes. And then, oh, there's the answer. Of course, it's a cube root. I'm not sure what I was thinking. For cube root of 25. And if I click on detailed solution, it's going to be a detailed solution for my specific version of the question. This doesn't always appear, but it often appears, that detailed solution. The answer key is always going to be there. And then, again, I could try it again. So I could just get a similar question again. Now it's 1472. Now armed with uh, looking at that written example, seeing the solution, I'm, I'm ready to take it on. I'm pretty confident I'm going to get it right this time. Of course, I'm not going to enter it. Okay, but that's how it works. You can just try a question over and over again. You can use math type, and even later on in the course as applicable, you can do graphing with your mouse, depending on the kind of graph. Um, it's all interactive, and it's pretty straightforward uh, learning curve for getting good at it. And again, with the homework, you just do it again until you get it right. You got the lay of the land, and then you're ready to do the assignments and the tests. So last thing is your gradebook. And I'm going to click on mine. I'm going to leave this assessment. Now everything that you do in the course is going to appear in here, including your homework, which again doesn't count. So I'm going to just jump down here. And you could see that the homework, while it will be graded, it will fill it out on here, counts for 0% of your mark. Uh, it's just your assignments and your three exams that actually count towards your mark. So homework, you need to get a 70 on any homework assignment to open up the next one. And again, since you can just do every question over until you get it right, shouldn't be much of a problem. So once you finish lesson one, lesson two will open up, then lesson three and so on. And then lesson uh, the, the first assignment will open up. So as you go through the course, this will all fill out and be auto graded. There might be sometimes I need to go in and mark something. And that in that case, I would always appreciate you to send me a reminder if necessary. See, I, I finished an assessment that uh, that requires marking, and you can just send me a message up here and I'll get into messaging as well in another video. So that's it for this one. Thanks for your attention. Look forward to your success in this course. And for those of you doing the Calm One Credit course, uh, the code that you need 
uh, to enter for your first answer is done. D-O-N-E is the code, as in you are done, and you've got your answer uh, to successfully complete that assignment. See you in the next one.